So we just got home from the gym, uh, got some buckets, you know, had to, had to get big on, no, I'm just playing, I'm weak as can be still, but, you know, had, <laughs> got, got a little sweaty, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to hop in the shower, it's currently, uh, what time is it, it's 11.36, so I'm about to shower, and then, I don't know, I might eat a little bit early today, not, not nothing crazy, but man, are y'all hyped for Christmas, bro, I know, I'm ready, dude. I'm, like, so ready to figure out what I'm getting. I absolutely have no clue because I actually didn't ask for anything this year. So, like, kind of just got to be thankful for whatever I get. But, yeah, I'm about to shower and then probably pick up with y'all when I'm about to eat. YouTube, before we get into this video, I just want to say I hope all y'all guys had an amazing Christmas. I'm actually recording this the day of Christmas. So, I don't know if it's going to go up then, but... Regardless, hopefully you had a good day, spent some time with your family, and I'm actually do three things before the video starts. First, gotta like the video. Gotta like, I mean, I upload like, what, like once every two years now, so like, you kind of have to do it. Second, if you want to see me stream COD, I've been playing a decent bit of COD, just got a PS4 Pro today actually, and uh, so if you want to see that, type COD in the comments below. And three, just bro, 2019 is coming up, and I'm not one for New Year's, re New Year's resolutions, but, uh, you know, just get things done this year. You don't even wait till January 1st. You know, start tomorrow, bro. Who cares? You don't need a date. I promise you. But with that being said, also, no cuts in this video because I'm doing all this on my phone and iMovie because uh, <clears throat> since I quit, I don't really have the software or anything. But I could, I guess, if I got back into it. But, you know, that's, that's, that's a different topic. Um, so, yeah, let's get to this video. So what I noticed and the reason why I can't do what I want to do with this whole video and series idea is <clears throat> every time I put stress on uh, like recording what I do through a day, regardless if that's eating or working out or whatever the case may be, I notice that I'm not really consistent and I don't want you guys, like I don't want to show a bad day of like nutrition and stuff and then preach that to you because I don't think that's fair. Um, you know, obviously if I choose to have a bad day, a low calorie day, whatever that may be, I want that to affect me and not you guys. I don't want you guys seeing what I do sometimes and be like, dang, that's good. Because honestly, I know it's not the best thing for me all the time, but sometimes it just happens. Um, also, I'm kind of sick, so sorry if my voice feels kind of weird. Also, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I promise you, I'm, bro, I'm 163, dog. <laughs> I'm down 97 pounds. So, um, yeah, but I might be a little bloated actually today. I just, I eat really fat, a fattening breakfast. So, you know how that'd be on Christmas though. But anyways... I want to tell y'all what I do and like a typical, you know, perfect day because, you know, not every day is perfect. I understand that. And, um, you know, even for me, my nutrition, I've lost 97 pounds in over a year, like a little bit over a year, what, 13 months. But still, I, I have plenty of cheat meals, guys. Like, it's not that strict, I promise you. And if you're somebody that's overweight or even, even if you want to lose like 10 pounds, bro, it is so much easier than what people make it out to be. I promise you that. Like, all it takes is willpower and not putting things in your body. Like, <laughs> I promise you, especially once you break your habits, it's so easy. So, let's get straight into the video. Let's go breakfast, bro. Breakfast, I eat the same thing for breakfast um, since I started. There's two options. I either do egg whites with turkey bacon or oatmeal. <clears throat> Both of those take literally, what, 10 minutes to cook? And actually, oatmeal takes 50 seconds. Um, the egg whites, turkey bacon might take you 10 minutes. No excuse for it. You know, super healthy both ways. If I do oatmeal, I usually throw some peanut butter in there. Um, you know, sometimes a banana, depending. Uh, but that's not, you know, that's not always the case. Cinnamon, stevia, unsweetened cocoa. That's that's my oatmeal. I promise you it's so good. Something I eat literally every day. And then, like, for lunch. So that's probably, like, I would say my breakfast, on average, 300 to 350 calories. Like, anywhere in that margin. My goal for a normal day when I was losing weight, which I'm going to get to that a little bit later, is 1,500. Um, to be honest, I don't think you should really go lower than that. Did I go lower than that? Yes, for a while. Um, I was probably in like the 1,000 calorie range. And honestly, like my friends could agree. I'm kind of just like, I'm a little too strict on myself, man. I still have this problem with like realizing what I look like. Um, I can't analyze myself the same way other people analyze myself. I know a lot of people are telling me I look great <clears throat> and whatnot, but that's just not, uh, I don't know. I still see myself as just being huge, and it's really unfortunate. It truly is. 
because it kind of affects me. I mean, I'm a pretty confident person. Like, people um, that know me can agree to that. I'm full of myself. <laughs> but it, it, it does play a little role in myself. I don't see myself how other people view me, which kind of makes things a little difficult. But enough of that. So that's breakfast, man. I promise you that's literally 10 out of 10 days. Never change it up for breakfast. Sometimes I won't eat that. And like I said, I do practice intermittent fasting. So my breakfast really isn't uh, in the morning per se. It's usually around like 2 p.m. on an off day. And if I have work, I'll just eat before I go to work. So I'm not hungry when I get there. And then lunch will always be, for me, a protein shake. Um, I never change that up either. The only times I ever change anything up is when it comes to dinner. But yes, protein shake, you know, if you're extra hungry, maybe a fruit or a veggie of your choice. Um, so you're looking at about 150 to 250 calories, depending if you add a fruit, and probably like 150 to 200 if you add in some vegetables with like a little dip or something. So, you know, right there we're sitting uh, 550 to 750 calories. And that's another thing, guys. <clears throat> a lot of my friends give me, you know, slack for it. The only thing I measure out is my oatmeal and what I put in my oatmeal because obviously my uh, protein shakes that I choose prepackaged, so I already have the nutrition on them, and I do keep track of that, and usually for dinner, depending on how I've been throughout the week, depends if I actually um, track that, but I promise you, you don't have to do that, that's just an extra step, and then for dinner, what I like to do is brown rice, doesn't matter, you can do white or brown rice, you know, there's a lot of stipulation on brown rice is better, it's a bunch of BS, man, if you like white rice better, do it, I promise you, it's not going to make a difference, science can pretty much back me up on that, the only thing that's different is the GI content in both of them. <clears throat> so I do brown rice, veggie, protein of my choice. Um, usually alternate between chicken and beef. I try to make this meal around 1,000 calories because like I said, my goal is 1,500. So I eat a lot of brown rice, a lot of chicken, and then a decent bit of veggies. Um, <clears throat> if I don't hit this goal of 1,500, it's not a big deal to me. Um, I'm not really focusing on putting on too much muscle right now. However, however... I have put on some noob gains, so my numbers in the gym have increased while my body fat has decreased, and same with obviously the weight on the scales decreased. Because at the end of the day, you want to lose body, you want to lose body fat. I mean, the number going up and down, that's just a number that doesn't really indicate what's actually on your body. But like I said, for me, my numbers have decreased, um, <clears throat> and since I am pretty new to lifting, still my uh, all my PRs have went up. So. It hasn't affected me. Now, this is something that you're going to have to kind of experiment by yourself because just because it doesn't affect me doesn't mean that's going to be the same case for you. You might need to eat more calories. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to lose muscle when they cut anyways. And if you're trying to lose, like, an excess amount of weight, it's probably going to happen. But regardless, like, if you're just going for a healthier lifestyle, it's definitely worth it. I mean, would you rather be 300 pounds and just have a lot of fat on you and still have a little bit of muscle or be, you know, 150 and you know just have to earn that muscle back i mean it's pretty much a no-brainer so, oh um, you know what we just rolling with it just to show how improv we are we still going with it sorry i had to stop the video dude i felt like i was gonna choke to death the sinus infection got me messed up bro anyways what i was saying is just you know if you implement the fact of consistency eating healthier and some type of exercise really the exercise is not even like you don't need to exercise but like to be healthier, you do. <laughs> but to lose just weight, you don't even really need to exercise, man. It's all about consistency. So many people go a week and then just, like, stop because they might not have saw the results, you know, that they wanted. Realistically, you shouldn't lose more than a pound or two a week. Um, obviously, if you're bigger, you know, chances are you will you will lose a little bit more weight. But you're not going to be losing that much weight, guys. Like, people just got to understand it takes time. But really, I mean, look about six months down the line. If you lose 10 pounds a month, that's 60 pounds. In a year, that's 120. Like... It's, <laughs> it's so simple to get where you want to be. All it takes is dedication, you know, hard work, if you want to argue that, and just, you know, willpower and staying consistent, man. And I promise you, if you implement those three factors, you will be perfectly fine. You will love yourself more. You'll have more energy. Everything will be more positive. I can't tell you one. Actually, there's one negative thing. There's one negative thing that came out of this whole, you know, 14 months, whatever you want to call it. And that is, I do, I get so cold. <laughs> like, that is the only thing that I could say was better about being big. Is, you know, I don't, I get freezing. I step outside, 
normal weather where I'd be wearing shorts and I'm like shivering. But <laughs> rather than that, I promise you it's so much better. Um, what I got going on, I, I can show you guys workouts and stuff. That'll be a little bit easier, even though I work out with myself now. So, I mean, I can make that happen though. <laughs> if this video gets like a thousand likes and y'all want to see that, I said it. Did I say a thousand likes? Jesus, man. I think I'm in my prime still. If this video gets a hundred likes, I'll think about doing that. And I'll try to show you guys like a full day of eating, like portions and everything. But like I said, man, every time I do that, like the last time I tried to record a video, which was um, probably a week ago, because before, yeah, let's just say a week ago. Bro, it was, I didn't even eat my first meal till like 4 p.m. And it ended up being, like the day was trash, dude. I ate so bad. Like, not even, like, like, I probably only put in, like, 700 calories that day. And it was just so bad. It was not a good example. And I don't want you guys, you know, I don't want to put you guys down a bad path by no means. That's why I'm trying to make it all, like, non-biased and everything. And that's why I'm trying to tell you just what I do. And you don't have to listen to what I say. Obviously, I'm not certified, none of that. So if you don't want to do what I do, don't. If you want to use it and see if it works for you, go for it. I'm just putting the information out there, you know, to all my subs and stuff. And people that might be interested about how I lost this weight. Um, you know, it's such a good feeling and crazy when people, you know, your friends, bro, and you, they notice it. Um, people at work notice it. Everybody just notices it. And I just want to shed some light on the topic that other people might struggle with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to... I ain't going to say I'm going to upload again. I'm, I'm going to upload again, but I'm not going to put a time on it. Because the last upload was like, what, four months ago? But uh, I hope you all really enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a great Christmas or had a great Christmas. Great New Year's. Kill 2019, bro. Kill it.